The French brand Carrefour is nowadays one of the biggest retailers in the Sao Paulo states. From groceries to sport items, from electronic gadgets to clothes, Carrefour also divided its branches with the creation of smaller shops. The Express branch, which embodied proximity stores, reinforced the service diversity offered by the group. They aim to meet the growing demand among customers for smaller purchases with stores close from the home and the workplace. Quick and practical, the branch gets more than 700 shops in all the states and mainly focus on daily items with a wide range of fresh and ready to consume items. Story design was made with customer shopping a bit in mind to guarantee a user-friendly shopping experience. Let's talk about the customers and the two types of segmentation we observe. Beforehand, the segmentation by behavior, which includes first, the straightforward. He's here because of a shopping mission, with a written or mental list previously prepared. He just goes into the store, take what he wants, grabs it and leaves the store. This behavior shows a certain loyalty because there is no need of a long decision-making process. And then, the purchase volatility is quite low. Secondly, the soldiers. They have also a shopping mission but without any clear intention. They are more likely to buy one or two items more than what they play, and they are really influenceable by some elements like packaging and promotion. Finally, the third group gather intuitive people. They basically enter into the shop, leading by impulses to buy but without any objectives. They are almost influenced by emotional and unconscious elements of the environment. Sabe? E aí, na hora de escolher o seu sanduíche frio, o que, que você considera? Cara, eu compro sempre o mesmo. Sempre é, o mesmo? Então, quando você pensou mesmo. em comprar um sanduíche frio aqui, era, você já falou assim, ó, eu vou pegar aquele, aquele lá, e aquele, é, você foi na prateleira e... Na verdade, eu compro aqueles frios ali e sempre, de repente, uma variação, mas é sempre o mesmo. Beleza. É. E o que, que você gosta mais dele do que do outro? Não, é, ele é, é mais barato? barato? Acho que é o custo-benefício. Então, é gosto e... Custo-benefício. Ok. É, Quais são os atributos que você considera na hora de comprar esse produto? Preço. Só preço? No caso, preço. O mais barato é o que você comprou? É, porque aqui a gente tem bastante concorrência. Então a gente tem a vendinha ali do lado, tem outro carrinho lá na frente, tem outra doceria. Então o que conta é o preço. Dentro da loja, quando você vai escolher um produto, quando eles estão lá na prateleira, você olha o mais barato e você pega aquele? Depende da compra. Isso aqui eu comprei porque era mais barato aqui, mas pela facilidade de estar perto do meu trabalho, eu desço aqui okay. e vejo o produto. Então, então faz praticidade é um, é um atributo também. também? Qualidade é um atributo? Também. Também? Mas é menos? Seria o terceiro. Esse produto que você escolheu, na hora que você foi escolher ele, é, o que é mais importante para você ter escolhido esse e não ficar do lado? É preço, é pata, é qualidade, é qualidade. Então,
Here is how a Carrefour Express looks like. But how is it inside? Let's take a look at its logistic. Merchandising is what we see first. It is all visual strategy to catch customer eyes. As much as this bright orange color everywhere. The logo. They put it everywhere. On the four store, staff clothes, baskets, and on their products. What is in here? Oh, the Sao Paulo picture. So nice. And all these lights. They are not there by chance. Because surprisingly, these elements affect customers' emotionality. For the streets followers, since they have a clear mission and list, maybe physical or mental, it's, it's really hard to change their behavior once they are already in the store. Thus, our recommendation is that the establishment take actions regarding their objective, should it be frequency, revenue or something else, before this consumer even decides to go to the store. For the soldiers, who sort of know what they want, they have a mission, just not a list, the recommendation is that the store store its products in such a way it can induce this kind of customer to go around the store and look at as many products as possible. Uh, and since they don't have a specific product choice before going to the store, there is a chance to induce them to buy more. So, if once they pick up a product and some other product close to him gets his attention, the better the chances the customer will increase his basket. And for the impulsive ones, the, the main step is to get their attention to bring them to the store. Once inside, they have more influenceable and just might get a bigger basket than they intended to begin with, without a huge effort from the store itself. So, simply using vibrant colors might just cut it. Music and lighting are also options. And finally, the last recommendation, the last suggestion my team and I would do uh, is a more general one and it is about getting rid of the entrance and exit doors. Uh, indeed, our team and I find that those narrow the flow of customers and make the establishment look like a much more closed and exclusive place when what you actually want is to have as many potential customers as possible come in.